Scott Orlin with Cinema Magazine. A new TV limited series is coming your way. It's called The Spy, and I'm here with the star, Sasha Baron Cohen. Hi. Sasha, over the course of cinema and TV history, we've seen many incarnations of The Spy, James Bond. There's a kind of a sexy, romantic quality about it. This seemed to get gritty and really showcase it's not all so pretty. No. No, I mean, this is a real story of a real kind of average man, a guy who was an accountant in a supermarket. And the Mossad chose him and decided for some reason to put all their hopes into him because at the time they had no knowledge of what was going on in Syria. So they gave him this opportunity to play a role, you know, he was basically acting, as a multi-millionaire Argentinian businessman from, of Syrian descent. And he was so successful at it that he became probably the most successful spy in the 20th century without ever killing anyone, without ever, you know, setting off a bomb. This was a guy who succeeded through his intelligence, through his charm, and through taking, you know, risks, actually. I mean, I don't know, but is there any archival footage when you did your research, anything that you could tangibly touch to kind of get to know this guy better? Well, there are two books about him that we read. We spoke to the family. We spoke to some of his handlers at the Mossad. Um, so there are people who knew him. There's no footage, obviously, because real spies, they don't have, they don't record any videos. Uh, but there are some photos, actually, from Syria where, you know, he'd be, there's one of him, actually, on the Syrian uh, battlements in the Golan Heights, which no civilian had ever gained access to. Uh, but it's like him smiling with one of the Syrian soldiers there. So somehow he was able to get people to trust him so much that they risked their own careers. And a lot of these people at the end, they destroyed their careers and went to jail because he was such an effective spy. But what's, I think, so intriguing right now is because if one looks at your career as well, you've spent a lifetime, at least creatively, convincing people you're somebody you're not and that people have gone along with it, and especially in a lot of like almost real simulated instances. But this is a lot different. I guess their life wasn't on the line. Mm. But do you think people are really susceptible that they will take that leap of faith and believe whoever you say you are? Well, yes. I mean, if you are good, I mean, it's the reason I was drawn to this character is, yeah, I've gone in character for eight hours at a time, 10 hours. But this guy kept his character for five years. And it's a difficult thing to do, to create a character where, you know, where no one can see any cracks in it. You know, so think about it. For Eli Cohen to survive in Damascus for that amount of time, it means that he didn't slip up at all for all of those years. You know, you remember seeing The Great Escape where they go, you know, what is it, congratulations, and he goes, you're welcome, or good luck. You know, if there's any mistakes, then you're done. You know, he would have been imprisoned, tortured, and probably killed. So I don't think it's that people are susceptible to it. I think that this guy was probably the greatest actor in history. And just really quick, you had a like training for what the spy was going to go through in the show. There's a lot of running, I noticed. Yeah. How proficient at that craft did you become? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm pretty unfit. I just come off this show, Who's America, and. So I was worried about it, and actually my Moroccan bodyguard at the time, who was an ex-colonel in the Moroccan army, said, you know what, he goes, I'm going to train you, don't worry. And basically kicked my ass, and I managed to get in shape. Don't worry, I'm now completely unfit again. I'll look forward to seeing you okay. at the Olympics. Sasha Baron Cohen, All congratulations, right, and this is Scott Orland. Until next time. Thank you. Litro.